Morning sheep. Morning Eric. So it's Friday morning. Uh, I thought I'd do a bit of a one day vlog video today. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all I was doing was hedge trimming, so nothing very exciting to video there. And yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a do something a bit different today. They're forecasting, well, we forecast dry weather, apart from right now it's foggy and cold. Forecast dry weather over the weekend and into next week. So this morning we're going to have a bit of a change around. I'm going to take the, well, I'm going to wash the hedge cutter, take the hedge cutter off, load up some fertiliser, take it up to farm two. Uh, we're at farm one right now. And yeah, then come back, put the first spinner on, ready for spreading TSP next week. Uh, probably going to go spraying over the weekend. I've got a load, whole load of spraying to do. Tractor saying 2 degrees centigrade outside this morning. Watch out for the Spaniel. He's normally pretty good at keeping out of the way when I'm moving around. I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to wash the hedge car. I'm not going to go crazy washing the tractor because I'm bound to find some wet spots next week. Uh, out in the fields, so there's no point in washing, getting the tractor too shiny. Right, it's nine o'clock now. Uh, as you can probably see, I've been home and uh, swapped my coat for my overalls. And I got a coffee as well whilst I was there. The old sun's just sh starting to show signs of poking through the, through the fog. Um, and it's actually zero degrees out here. It was two degrees in the barn, two and zero degrees out here. Sun's just over the barn there somewhere.
Alright, hedge cutter is off. And it hasn't fallen over, so that's good. It's always a little bit of a worry how balanced they are. But yeah, it was quite fiddly actually to take off, but I think when I get a bit more practice, it um it will be quite simple. Now I know how, it'll be easy. So I'm gonna go and uh, I've got to drop this toolbox off the front of the tractor, put a front weight on because I got a tow a trailer load of fertilizer. Um, and then later on, as you can see, we've got to move the post knocker and the mower to get to the first spinner. Literally just one 13 mil nut, and that control unit comes off, and then I put this armrest back on. Nine fifty, nine fifty two now. You see the sun just trying to poke through the fog and the clouds. I'm just about to hook on the Richard Weston trailer. Steaming up, I don't know why. All right, so we got to put. Uh, we've got to try and fit 20 bags on this uh, trailer, so it might be a bit of a squeeze. 12 ton we need. I managed to fit them all on, now I just got to work out how I'm going to strap them on. I may as well move this post knocker whilst I've got the JCB out. One thing I just drove into the plough. There we go. All 
Right, so I'm just about to leave farm one. Um, it, what was the time? 10.57 now. I left Eric at home. He was wet and cold. So I let him go home where he can dry out by the fire. We've only got a six, it's about a six mile drive up to farm two. I'll take it nice and steady because I don't really want to be uh, dropping any bags of fertilizer, even though, as you just saw, I did strap them on. Right, well, we made it to up to up to farm two. A little ride through the village. It's still foggy up here. Foggy and damp. Just gonna have to dry out a bit before we can travel on the fields. Right, so I left the trailer there. No point in taking the bags off, putting them on the floor, just to be picked up again. So I might as well just take them straight off the trailer and put them in the in the spinner. Um, yeah, you probably saw that there was already a load in there. Basically, we had a lorry load delivered here. We had two loads delivered to farm one and one here. So now we've got enough here to do the job. Like musical machinery around here. I'm going to move this topper so I can put the motor, the uh, the John Deere front mower in there, in front of that old cultivator, because I didn't want to put the mower, John Deere mower in front of the hedge car because obviously I want to put that back on again in a week's time. So I'm going to put this in the seed shed. It's easy to move if it's in the way again. So it's Friday afternoon now, uh, I'm just going to put this spinner on, hook that up, and then I've got some tech stuff to sort out, basically, oh, we'll put a weight on the front as well, put the weight back on, I've got to get the John Deere 2630 display screen out of the uh, combine, because I've got to run variable rate maps through that, I'll show you it all next week, but basically that, that box has got the cable that goes to the Amatron box that controls that. Which 
turn some lights on. But considering it's only three o'clock in the afternoon, it's actually a bit dark out, very cloudy. Let's see if we can get this lined up. Here. I forgot to put the hydraulic top link on. This thing weighs a ton. Come on. Bingo. So I'm taking this uh, 2630 screen out of the combine and then I'm going to put it uh, right about here. Alright, it's plugged in. Now it's got this cable that comes out the back of it. This one. Shut the door. This cable then plugs into here, which is the fertilizer spreader box, control box, and it's going to tell the spread a control box how much uh, TSP to spread on the fields which I've got this memory stick here that's got all the data plans on it the field plans so I'm going to plug that into this screen upload those and then it will have all the information and then I'll just put in what field I'm going into and it will know exactly what to put on where so yeah but I'll probably do this well I've got to clear a load of information off this 2630 screen basically because it's the memory is nearly full. So we'll probably do this bit in the next uh, when I in the video when I actually go fertilising. Um, I'm probably going to go spraying at the weekend, um, so there'll probably be a spraying video next. Uh, we haven't had we, last time we had rain was Wednesday, um, and before that was the Friday before. So the ground isn't waterlogged like it was before. We will be able to travel, it's just going to be a bit tacky, so yeah, that's the plan anyway. Let's see what happens when, you t when we turn it on. It's probably going to confuse it a bit. It's going to recognise a new screen. Um, activate custom. Get rid of that. Yeah, see, it's, no, it's um, recognised that I've plugged in a different screen. What does it want? Multiple display, implement viewer, multiple precision applica ag applications. I'm pretty sure that's the one we need. Single display, advanced setup. Yeah, it's definitely this one what we need. Yeah. System restart required. Okay. I guess I'll just turn it off and on again.